So, Gaffer, uh, it's a nil-nil draw against Bromley with 10 men. What are your thoughts on that? Pleased, um, because I think we've uh, had to defend very well for the last sort of half hour of the game. Um, but the commitment was evident for everyone that we were showing the desire to defend and work hard and close them down. They're a decent team. They're there or thereabouts normally coming into the season. And, um, yeah, I thought it was, a, it was a good performance as far as staying in the game and uh, being solid. But, you know, I think we've probably had the better chances in the second half um, for, well, throughout the game, really. And uh, in the end, that's a good point. Yeah, just speaking of chances, um, Whitehall had a chance early on in the first half. How how gutted were you when that didn't go in? Yeah, um, as gutted as Danny, he, he was gutted at half time. He was, you know, um, upset. You know, talking about whether should he have had a touch or should he have smashed it in. It just come off a bit of his ankle, I think. And um, it was a great bit of football, a great bit of football. And Danny's he scored some outrageously good goals for us. So uh, he's got a lot to give, a lot to offer the team. And uh, he'd be frustrated that he's missed that today. Uh, today, but. Um, yeah, there's no qualms as far as missing chances for me. The, the most important thing for a centre forward is that you're brave enough to keep missing them and keep getting chances. And, it, and he's certainly that. He's, he gives all that to the team. Yeah, the turning point in the match was when Corey Panter was shown a red card. Do you have any thoughts on the incident? I certainly do. Never been a red card. 50 yards from goal, people around him. It's not dangerous play um, or excessive force. He's, we've got players either side of him. That are, it's not a dog so denying of a goal scoring opportunity so I failed to see where the red card come from and that will reflect in the report um, there's a new referee at this level he's done as he's quick to tell me after the game three games now at this level um, and I think they showed yeah um, you were then shown a yellow card by the referee what was that for well myself and Aaron Martin both got a yellow card because the fourth official has told Aaron to go on for the substitution the referee then tells him I'm called you on you have to go off um, and I heard him say to Aaron on you go and Aaron heard it that's why he ran on the pitch and then the fourth official denied it and then the, the referees booked Aaron for going on the pitch early it's just farcical it is laughable um, they've got to get these things right Aaron Martin has to go on the pitch with half an hour to go as a centre half one tackle away from getting the second yellow card and getting sent off it's just, it's just crazy yeah, um, <clears throat> when a red card happens, you normally say it's turning point in a negative way, but after Corey Panto was sent off, we really responded well and started making really positive movements um, and probably could have got a couple of goals in that in that spell. Yeah, I agree. I think it galvanised us a bit. The crowd got up a little bit and because that got on their back, they could see that it was it was not um, a red card and you know, and they got behind us a bit more, which really pushed us on and uh, gave us the energy to, to get forward and break. And like you say, we've had some good chances in the second half and... Alfie's got down the left a couple of times, picked people out. It's Charlie's whiz one past the post, and Cease has had one where the keeper's made a great save. Um, and we looked like a team that was going to go on and win it. But at the end of the day, um, 10 men against a team that are organised, big, strong, and normally, like I say, in the, in the playoffs is, is, a, is a big point for us. It keeps the run going. Yeah, I thought JJ was good in midfield today. What were your thoughts on him? Oh, brilliant. Energy. Played, played, sort of played forwards when he needed to, kept the ball when he needed to. Um, one is second balls, one is headers, and he looked the all-round midfielder today. So yeah, really pleased with him. Him and Cisse have, have hit it off in midfield at the moment over the last four or five, six games probably. And um, yeah, yeah, they're getting a good understanding now. Yeah, we had Christian Magoma come off uh, in the second half from injury that he picked up in the first half. Mm. And do we have an update on him? Um, not yet. He's waiting to see the physio, but he's, he's sort of opened his knee up. Looks like a little bit of a medial possibly on his knee. How bad that is, we don't know. We won't know until it settles down. But um, yeah, that's a frustrating one because he's come into the team and we've we've had a good a good run of games with him in the team and and clean sheets and good results. So him and Corey have been a really good partnership. But I thought the the two boys that came on the pitch as well they seamlessly fitted into the team and and kept that clean sheet and fought very hard to do so for the last sort of uh, twenty five minutes half hour. Yeah, when you do have two new centre halves coming on in Aaron and George, how difficult is it to sort of pick up to the rhythm of play and also have that sort of pairing with your other centre half? Can be very hard, and you know with the centre forwards that have been playing for the already sixty minutes, they're already um, got their second wind and they're, they're they're alive and they're you know they're they're bright and energetic. It can take you a bit of time to get that second wind as a, as a substitute, and, but they fitted into it really well. As he used his experience and helped George along, and George was, was brilliant when he came on as he was the last game. It's another valuable point here today. What does that sort of mean for our next game against York? I mean, it just keeps us unbeaten. It gives the boys the confidence. I was saying to the lads in the dressing room that six weeks ago we probably lose one 0 in the last ten minutes, um, but the momentum and the belief and the, 
the togetherness that we've sort of gained over the last six weeks is has all showed in that, that last 15, 20 minutes where we had to really back to the wall, but also still trying to be a threat. And I think that was, was excellent. It was a massive, massive...